All right, let's add a map. Google's instructions have actually gotten very good and they've developed a very, very nice workflow that we're gonna to use to, to create a map activity. So let's take a look at them now. All right, so I have a link in here that's gonna to go to, to their stuff. And there's about four steps, some of which we've already done. So first of all, download Android Studio, check. Second step here, make sure that you have the Google Play Services SDK, uh, which you probably do. It's very highly likely that you do. But if you wanted to verify this, uh, pretty easy to do. So if we go back in Android Studio, Tools, Android, and SDK Manager, and this is gonna pull up, and if you show the package details, right, you'll see here uh, that there are options. So for instance, Android 6, what I have on here, it says Google APIs uh, for Android 23, and I have them for Android 22 and so on. So just make sure that those are checked for the, um, for the uh, SDK level that you are developing for. Okay. And if you don't, uh, you go ahead and check it and then you click apply, right? Uh, so that, that's that's what you would do. Uh, I'll cancel out of here. Uh, and also if you're gonna run it on an emulator, you wanna make sure that your emulator is also running a version that, that has Google Play services on it. All right, so checks one, uh, steps one and two, um, all set. So the third, third step here is really geared if you were making the project from scratch um, which we're not doing, right? We're gonna be adding an activity to an existing project. But really the takeaway message here is that when you go to add the activity to your project, um, you're gonna select a Google Maps activity, right? So that's what that's what we're gonna do here. And uh, we'll go back to Android Studio, go into our existing project, and we'll right click on the package, and we'll say new activity and we're gonna look for Google Maps activity and it's not there. It's because it's in a different place. So keep scrolling down here to Google and you'll see that here we have Google Maps activity. All right, let's go ahead and select one of those. Uh, and it's very, very, fairly similar to what you've done when you've created other activities, right? So what do you wanna name it, layout, title, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they're asking us if we wanna make it a launcher activity and until we get things integrated with our existing code, um, I am just temporarily going to make this a launcher activity uh, so that we can test it out. Uh, but we'll end up we'll end up changing that manually a little bit later. So no big deal. And I'm not going to worry about anything else. So we'll click finish. And <clears throat> this is where the workflow gets really nice. Right? So what you would normally do at this step would be to go to the the developers console, right? And there you could make a new project. Uh, and then you would have to get, to get the API key, you would need your SHA-1 fingerprint and you would need the package name right here, right, that you're using. Uh, but they've actually automated this whole process, right? So as soon as you make this activity, it brings up this Google Maps API XML and in it is this nice little, uh, let's see, go to the end here, nice little URL that we are going to launch and that's gonna go to a very specific place, right, with the information. And it will start off by asking you about your project, like do you wanna create a new project or do you wanna use an existing one? Chances are you're gonna make a new one unless you have already have a Maps one. Uh, I have a whole bunch of them as you can see, so I'm gonna go ahead and just select one of mine that I already have. But, you know, certainly you can create your own. Then it's gonna ask you something here about uh, credentials. So we're gonna to go to credentials and you'll notice that it's it's gonna pop up a name for this. It really doesn't matter, I don't think, what, what you pick here. But the important thing is that it already took care of this stuff for you, right? So there's the package name and there's your SHA-1 uh, fingerprint. So you don't have to um, you know, generate it out of the key store and everything using key tool like you may have uh, had to in the past for other, um, whenever you needed a key, All right? So this is really, really nice. So we'll click Create and you can grab that from there, copy that, click OK. And then we are going to go uh, and take that key and back here in this Google Maps API file, there's a place for us to put it. So find that your key here, dump in your key, and then you are good to go, right? Uh, we can take a look to see what it's done here. If we if we check out the starting code, let's actually go and, and see where that is used. So first of all, 
going back in, in the manifest, there are a couple things that I want to mention. First of all, is that we have given it uh, permission uh, to use find location. Find location is is typically the the GPS on on your device. Okay. Um, there's also a course location that I believe it uses uh, Wi-Fi um, data to try to get. Okay. Uh, all right, so, so we've got that. And in our application, you see that there's main activity, no surprise there. Uh, but here we have, um, we have our Google Maps key, right, which, which is here. So this is the, the Google Maps key that we just created over here. So you see that that's linked to at the proper place uh, so, that, so that we can use that. And we'll note here uh, that, that um, so this is, this is for debug mode. Uh, only and there's you know if you wanted to publish this to the store you'd have to do a little bit of a, a little bit of extra work um, as far as your keys go right and you can you can find out how to do that if that if that's the case All right uh, but down here we see our, our our maps activity and this also has an intent filter um, to be the launcher so we probably don't want two launchers so let's temporarily let's get rid of the one from main activity for now okay? so that when we run our program uh, that, that our maps activity will launch Let's see what else we get here, right? So uh, inside Maps activity, right? A couple of sort of key things. You'll note that uh, that Maps activity is actually a, is a fragment activity, um, and it implements this Map Ready callback. So sort of what's associated with this is that on in on create, um, we're we're just going ahead and capturing the map fragment, and then we're going to call this get map async. Uh, and so it's going to asynchronously load the map for you. And and on, on some devices and everything, depending on your connection, uh, you could it actually might take a little while to load, right? So um, the callback is going to be implemented by the maps activity class, and that's defined uh, here in the on map ready, right? So when this map uh, is finally ready, it's going to pass this in a Google Map that we're going to store uh, for later usage, and then the default right here is going to be to um, the default is, is going to be to place a marker uh, at latitude longitude negative 34 so 34 degrees south 154 degrees east and it turns out that that is sydney australia uh, so that defines that latitude longitude coordinate and then we're going to do two things with that first of all we're going to add a pin so a marker there uh, positioned at that location with a specific title right here and then we're going to move the camera so that our map is going to be centered uh, at that location. Right? So that's that's most of the the starting code that I give you. It's really the, the key that's a, that's important. I, th I just think that they, they did a really nice job in, in auto generating that and giving us a nice workflow. A couple other things that, that are here, um, although honestly it's probably really just just the one, which is the that we have uh, our, our XML for this, but there's really nothing nothing exciting here. Um, this is the fragment that, that, the, uh, that the map is going to be displayed in. All right, so go ahead and run that now and see what you get. All right, so the map uh, finally came up here and we see that, that just like we thought, we have a pin here dropped or a marker uh, centered on, on Sydney. Uh, and we can, we can use this map just like we would, um, just like we, we, we would any, any other time, right? So, so starting there. Uh, and that's that's really a, about it for now. Uh, the rest of the the document here just kind of details the things that we did, which were getting the key, um, taking a look at the code, uh, connecting a device, and again a little bit about about the emulator here. If you wanted, if uh, if you need to get Google APIs installed, uh, running it, which we've done, and some next steps uh, that that we will uh, talk about when we wrap up the unit uh, at at the end. Mm -hmm.